This is the vegan anarchist. And in this video, it is an, this this is going to be an anarchist response to the Trump winning the U.S. presidency. Let's do it. All right. Why? Let me start off. Trump won. Many people see it as a, as hate winning and to understand that is true. White nationals are empowered and emboldened because their candidate Trump won. But people should also focus on this fact. The white working class have been suffering. They've been suffering through Obamacare premiums skyrocketing, through the economy tanking, their jobs being shipped overseas. They're being hosed. Most Americans live from paycheck to paycheck. Of course they're going to vote for Trump because he's an economic populist. Hillary is the embodiment of what's wrong with the government. Trump is the embodiment of what's wrong with, what, with culture and some aspects of capitalism. Well, both are to some extent or another. Anyways, to have a problem with capitalism. Anyways. It is the failure, and and it is our failure, but yet our strength. Working people of all of, of America and possibly the world, America, because this is our, our election. Tr Trump, if you vote for Trump, you're gonna be screwed by a guy who's pu who's a pu who orange face pu orange skin puppet of the bourgeoisie. It won't matter if Trump or Hillary win, the working class will be screwed. The, and the working class has been so destroyed. Even a lot of union states who would have strong labor unions went Trump. Just mix some nationalism, some economic populism, some social conservatism, and some bigotry. He, he got what he deserved. Well, not what he deserved. The point is, is that, is that Trump is going to screw you just like Hillary would. He's going to be going to wars. He promised to commit war crimes. He's going to do all sorts of fucked up shit, just like Hillary would. And in the end, well, right now. Um, America rather, it's, people painted it, America rather folk for someone who has fascist tendency, not fascist money, but has certain tendencies as those who are fascist, with, uh, who doesn't have any political experience, who doesn't, who screwed over his workers' race because you're fucking suffering. And many people chalk it as, oh, they don't care about the third world. And to, yeah, America's, a lot of them are kind of, don't really care very much, but if they did, their pocketbook hurts hurting more. They missed the days where they have prosperity. They missed the days where they didn't have to suffer. But those days are gone, and there's and the working class is smart. They know they're being screwed, but by God damn it, we were we. Fail to educate them on, on the truth. They have chosen Trump to throw a Molotov at the system. But the true Molotov, and not just a true Molotov, but the true solution to the ails of poverty and the desperation was anarchism. But that was it. But we weren't big enough because we were squashed. And and also, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but identity politics has played a role in, the, in getting the white working class to kind of hate us. And Trailer's campaign was just anti-worker stuff with, with, with identity politics, so of course they're going to keep getting us screwed. But the point is, is that yes, people of color, not, not, people who are not cis, people who are of different sexual orientations are getting are neat need to have their interests represented, they need to be free. But at the same time, we're, we're, our language is kind of turning the, anti -white, the white working class against us because we're too hard on them. 
we should build an interclass coalition of all the working class, or at least the most revolutionary. Black people, for example, have the militancy, especially from the hood. They know how to, sh they have shotguns, they have done all this stuff. White people still have the majority. That's why people of color call minorities, because they're minorities. In the end, Trump is going to be a, a whole, a, a both a good thing and a horrible thing for us, for the anarchist movement, and a terrible thing for the for America as a whole, especially working class people of color, and that is, yes. The KKK is empowered. Yes, white nationalists are up to joy and they're going to be out of the closet and they're already are because of Trump. But now they're going to be even more emboldened. But at the same time, anarchists, we have a shot because when Trump inevitably fails because people still get hosed, where are they going to turn to? That's when we come in. Yes, the white nationalists won the day, but we, but the battle, the battle may be won, but the war isn't over. In fact, it gave us an opportunity to win. An opportunity. Yes, the world's gonna be closer to death because Trump denies climate change. Yes! Okay, the bullshitty, and people are in here cap here blaming people like me or people who vote third party. I didn't vote, by the way. Speak for the loss, but in the end, they had nothing to blame but themselves. They had nothing to blame but themselves. And on a final note, this is also the time to support your local Antifa. God damn it, we need more anti-fascist organizing and anti-racist organizing because those clan are going to be more than emboldened now. Just like after Brexit, hate crimes against against minor, against people of color and Muslims and people who look Muslims skyrocketed. That's probably going to happen. The far right is well, the far right like neo Nazis, KKK has been emboldened. When will it be our turn to come to the plate to fight them? To gather the support of the working class, to unite the working class of not just the U.S. but across the world. I say it is about time we organize. It is about time we use that to our advantage. Workers of the world unite. This is the vegan anarchist. No meat. No milk. No masses. Fuck the police. Fuck the capitalists. Fuck Bernie Sanders who sold out. Fuck Hillary. Fuck Trump. Fuck the bourgeoisie. This is out. We are going to rise like a phoenix. Viva la revolution.